Hey everybody, so I thought I'd just make a little quick video here. I am working on this piece and um, I'm using 100% Sennelier on, on this painting here. And uh, it's a nice autumn scene. So this is the 100% Sennelier on um, art spectrum sanded paper. And uh, I didn't make a tutorial for this, but I wanted to show you why I feel Sennelier brand is the premier oil pastel brand and why I like it so much. It's the ability for this brand to be able to layer on top of itself. So since I'm working 100% Sennelier, you can see that on this scene, I'm starting to cut in and bring in some leaves to this area. You can see I already have several layers of oil pastel here. And so it's very easy for Sennelier to be able to um, just go right over the top without that color um, mixing into the color underneath. It's just very easy to just put this right on top of the layer that's already here, that's already Sennelier. And this is very hard to do with some of the other oil pastel brands. Um, if you're familiar with that, um, you know, working with other brands, to be able to keep layering color after color after color on top of each other, what usually happens is you're not able to get those colors to stack up and sometimes they kind of mix in. But with Sennelier, I find that this brand is they're so soft that it's very easy for me to just go ahead and just punch in a little bit of more details and color right on top of itself all right so that's what i'm doing here for example i already got a layer here but if let's say i want to add a little bit more sky i'll go ahead and bring my my sky color here that's what i call it this light blue and uh, you know i want some more sky holes so i'm just going to go ahead and punch in some more sky holes and i'm really just pressing in i'm not putting in a lot of pressure I'm just kind of, you know, here and there, just add some little holes, you know, to kind of bring in just a little bit more sky maybe to this area, right? And this is already on top of a layer that's there. And this is why this brand is so good. I mean, I recommend it. If you have a little bit of money, just get some sticks, just start collecting them just here and there. And over some time, you can start getting a nice, good, good collection of Sennelier. And then you can really, really... I think upgrade your your paintings um, so here I got this uh, grassy area here and I really want to punch in the light here so I'm going to use this green to kind of punch in some some stronger color here to kind of indicate a little bit of light coming down this bank here all right so you can see how easy that is for me just to go right over the top of that layer that's already been sitting there and I can just very easily kind of bring in some more color down in here and um, and a little goes a long way. I can just put a little bit down, kind of use my finger to kind of blend lightly to it, kind of push it into the paper a little bit. Maybe back in here, there's a little bit more light. You know, this is kind of a grassy little area right here. See that? See how easy that is? I don't have to fight. I don't have to push hard. I don't even have to use a fixative. I can just, I can just go right over the top of what's already there. And uh, trust me, with oil pastels, this is not... An easy thing to do to layer especially with a lot of brands out there but with Sennelier it just makes it so much more enjoyable so much more easier to do in this process so you're going to add a little bit of green maybe some green trees back in there that are kind of popping through peeking through right and if it's a little the color is a little too strong I can simply just take my finger and kind of smudge it and kind of move it around and kind of change the value of that color you know Let's say I want a little bit of stronger light, so I'm going to bring in a lighter color. Let's go with this. Uh, let's go with this yellow here. This is a really strong light color, and I can just go over to the top of that and really punch in some strong light coming through that that area. As you see, the light's kind of coming across this scene right here. And so, see how it, I just can punch colors right on top of each other. And this is how I I like to use my oil pastels. I really like to build up the color, and I really like to. Um, really like to layer as I can get really get depth of color and better values and it's just a just the way I, I use oil pastels and and painting in general is layering colors on top of each other okay you can see how I kind of change the light right there and how much stronger that light is now you can see how the I'm working on this piece here most of this foreground here area is mostly done I am going to kind of punch light here a little bit more here and there and Kind of brighten up where the where I feel that the sun is kind of punching through and and spots and you can see I'm just going right over the top of what's over there and there's several layers here 
I have several layers of just sennelier on top of each other and it doesn't matter. Um, I can just keep on stacking color on top, on top and keep going with it until, you know, I feel like it's done. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys that. Let's put some of this yellow up in here maybe. Um, got a little bit of sun coming back in here and it's kind of brightening up some areas. You can see I can kind of just dab, 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 punch up some light a little bit. And if I feel it's a little too much, I can always just smudge it and then I can always just take another in color and go on top of it. So quick video, I just want to show you. I've been working on this one for a little bit. I'm probably about halfway done. I got a lot of this area back in here to work on. I got to bring in some, some leaves and some kind of background trees and kind of work on a little bit more of the foliage up in here. But just wanted to show you this quick video. Um, I haven't been painting in a while, so this is kind of the first time for me in like a month and a half. So, um, but yeah, I'm back in the swing of it. So, um, I'll be making a, um, a full uh, tutorial on 100% Sennelier. Since I did a Paul Rubens, I want to do a 100% Sennelier full demonstration um, painting. So, the, hopefully, that'll be coming soon here. But I kind of just playing around with this one. So. All right. Uh, anyways, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Hope you guys had a good holiday with your families and enjoying uh, this time of the year as I always do. And um, I will see you again. Okay. Bye-bye.